Georgios Kararigas, Charité Universitätsmedizin Berlin. En route for personalized health through the integration of sex gender based science. This is uh, one of the very few occasions where I can use the unequal sign between the male and female symbols and still get away with this. And this is not because I'm the last presenter of this great conference, but rather due to the fact that there are major differences between men and women in disease risk factors, incidence, presentation, pathophysiology, treatment, and outcome. And this is a common feature of many different types of diseases, but I personally focus on cardiovascular disease and particularly myocardial hypertrophy and heart failure, where we know that under a stress stimulus, such as pressure overload, Following the initial adaptation of the heart, there are major differences between men and women, how they respond further in accordance to this stress stimulus. And this leads to sex-specific cardiac dysfunction. And when we consider major outcomes such as mortality, there are major differences between men and women with heart failure. However, we do not really understand all these sex differences in cardiac pathophysiology, and we do not really uh, we have not really elucidated the underlying mechanism, and this leads to the fact that we don't really have any sex-specific uh, therapies. On the basis of this, uh, there are many male and female patients that are not appropriately treated, and this is a major issue for our healthcare systems and their budgets. Therefore, we need to have a better and more detailed characterization of sex differences in disease and the underlying uh, molecular mechanism with the hope that this will lead us to the identification of novel sex-specific therapeutic targets. And this will bring us a step closer to personalized health. In order to do this, among the many several different things that we do in the lab, we collect cardiac tissues of male and female patients undergoing cardiac surgery. And we perform genome-wide expression profiling, which, surprise, surprise, it has revealed that when we consider the regulated pathways in response to pressure overload, there are major sex differences. So my main take-home message for you today is that throughout life, there are major complex interactions of sex chromosomes and sex hormones together with other environmental factors. And in order to move from this situation, which is the one drug fits all, we must really consider this to move to this situation, which is the personalized healthcare. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will be future medicine. Thank you. <clears throat>